What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're returning the subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, you can see I got my mic set up. Feel like I'm not talking in a jar no more. And uh, back to business. And uh, speaking of business, man, there are people out here whose life is just a bad comedy. I'm going to introduce you to somebody in this story right here. Trust me. It's funny, sad, and hard, hard to believe all at the same time. See, this dude up here in this story happened last week in Columbus, Ohio. Shout out Columbus. And it's about this dude that's pictured up here with the bruise on his face. This idiot is 31-year-old Matthew Pancake. Yes, like the food. That's his last name, Pancake, of Columbus, Ohio. This guy is charged with breaking and entering, vandalism, from doing it to several stores on the west side of Columbus, Ohio. They include a local restaurant, a pet store, and another business up here that this news article will explain to you. But guys, I want you to see this. This is something that's going to have you talking the rest of the day and laughing as well. Take a look. New at noon, the man accused of breaking into a pet store and several other businesses on Hilliard Rome Road is now being held on a $10,000 bond. Our 10 TV cameras were in court as Matthew Pancake faced a judge just hours ago. Meantime, when police arrested Pancake yesterday, he was wearing a leopard print onesie and had hamsters in his pants. All of it captured on police body camera video. Get on your belly, Mr. Pancake! Get on, 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 your, on your belly! In the name of the law, Pancake, get on your belly! Meantime, police video also shows police officers trying to wrangle several loose animals during that wild morning. 10 TV News reporter Carly Dion is walking us through this new video and has more on this bizarre story. You cannot make this no. It's a chase to track down a suspect that starts at Roosters, where officers received a report of a burglary alarm going off just after 3 a.m. The restaurant had been broken into, and surveillance video showed a man with long hair wearing a leopard print onesie inside the restaurant. Looks like they threw a rock through both entryway doors. About 100 yards away, officers found the Petland store was also broken into. Several animals were spotted running loose in the parking lot. Here, an officer can be seen capturing the first puppy. About a minute later, another officer grabs a second. Come here. You're okay. Come here. Come here. You're okay. Come here. The officer then reunites the puppy with the other one in the back of a cruiser. Here's your brother. Brother, sister, whatever it is. Officers then tried to catch the birds. Never catch the I'm, bird. yeah, I'm not a bird guy. I have no idea what to do. A bird can then be heard biting an officer. Oh, in your <laughs> Officers then discover the nearby famous footwear had also been broken into, all while trying to locate a suspect until dispatchers received this 911 call. So have you heard about the guy who broke into Petland? Yes. Uh, I'm looking right at him. He's asleep on a bench. Christian Thompson says she was hanging out with several of her friends when they were approached by officers asking if they'd seen the suspect. He said leopard print covered in blood and a pocket full of gerbils. As they drove through the parking lot, they spotted the suspect and called 911. So we knew he was nearby. But we didn't expect him to be like less than 30 feet away. Thompson and her friends kept a safe distance until police showed up. Get on your belly, Mr. Pancake! Once the suspect, identified as Matthew Pancake, was secured, the officers remembered something was missing. Where are the gerbils? Where are the gerbils? The cops began searching his clothes, only to find exactly what they were looking for. Oh, God, there is a gerbil. And not just one. There's multiple gerbils in his pants. They were put in a bag and then returned to Petland. Yeah, we, we got the gerbil banded. He, he, he literally, literally had the gerbils in his pants. And again, that's 10 TV news reporter Carly Dion with that story. Meantime, the Petland manager tells us the animals police believe to be gerbils are actually hamsters. Police say they also recovered two dogs, multiple birds, and bunnies during that search for pancake. All in a day's work. All right, guys, like you heard the cops say, you can't make this type of shit up. 
That's the story of Matthew Pancake, 31-year-old idiot. I don't know if he was on drugs or whatever, but it scares me. That's scary. He had on a leopard print onesie, pajamas, and gerbils in his pants, or, or hamsters. Same thing, rodents in his pants. I don't know what he was on, but evidently he had some type of psychotic episode. Said the police recovered two dogs, multiple birds, some hamsters, and at least two rabbits. Columbus uh, Police Sergeant Joe Albert said officers were still searching for animals, including the ferret. He didn't let the birds go in every damn thing. For what? Now, it doesn't say, it says he has a $10,000 bond, but it doesn't say anything else on here of if he was under the influence. Because it says here, it says Pancake was found sleeping near the big lots on Roberts Road shortly before 5 a.m. Officers arrested him and discovered there were four gerbils, or hamsters, in his pants. The hamsters were not, not hurt. Pancake was taken to a hospital, treated for his injuries, was later booked in the Franklin County Jail. Now, they gave this guy a $10,000 bond like we talked about before. I don't know if he's still locked up or not, but he got some explaining to do, to do. especially to his father. Because I ain't going to lie, if that was my son, he'd be like the width of a hair away from being disowned because you have to explain this to me under what rational thought was it for you to go and take a uh, vandalize people's businesses try to free the animals like you Peter and then have hamsters in your ass make you you, you got to explain it to me and it, it better be a viable excuse because I don't know I mean I, I <laughs> he went to sleep how you sleep with rodents in your pants? Think about that. He had to be on something. Had to be on something. This, this is no damn way. Huh. Said he freed bunnies. Oh, it says uh, the next day, ferrets and bunnies. Okay, I see what it says up here. It says one day you're running after a suspect. The next day you're running after ferrets and bunnies. I thought they said they found them. But evidently they didn't. But uh, this is crazy all, all the same. I mean, going in front of the court, I wonder how judges and, and bailiffs and people keep a straight face. Stupid crimes like this, they need to uh, have you uh, have an explanation. Because a lot of people can go in court and say, oh, I oh, don't know, I was stupid. Now nah, you need to explain yourself as an adult. You got in trouble as an adult, you're in adult court, you need to explain yourself. Explain to us why you had furries between your butt cheeks. Now, explain it. I'd I, I blast him out of the damn thing. But anyway, I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. I'm glad I got the mics back. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.